and then the shop safety rules. We will review these right now, uh, and I'll show you how to get through the shop safety rules. Okay, we are going to review the shop safety rules and how to do the sign-off on Blackboard that you have reviewed the shop safety rules. So you must do this sign-off before you're allowed to attend the lab. So make sure you do this. So this is my Blackboard. I'm going to go to the T974 All Robotics Students 2020-2021. So I'm going to click on here. Once I get in here, I'm going to turn on this student preview mode so mine looks exactly like yours would. So this is now the page that covers the entire uh, program. So every student in the robotics program has access to this page. So I'm going to go under content. When I get to here, I see a bunch of stuff. There's all the course outlines uh, for the program are shown here. Uh, there's some other information. There's stuff from the orientation. And then there's this section here called training. And this is where there's the academic honesty policy and the shop safety rules as well. So I'm going to go under training. I'm going to go under shop safety rules. It's going to look like this when you first come in. So what we need to do, first of all, this document here, we need to review this document. So I'm going to open this up. Say open. And I get this document. So I need to read through this. Okay, so I'm going to read through this with you now. I will hit on all the highlights here for you, but you need to read through this on your own. So we go through the introduction. There's some stuff here about enhanced safety requirements for COVID-19. Basically, COVID-19, you got to do your uh, do your training, do your screening each day before you go to campus. You must be wearing a mask at all times when you're on campus. If you take your mask off, you are going to get busted and you're going to be in trouble. That has happened to students in our program. You don't want to have that happen to you. Okay. So let's go through the highlights of this here. Uh, all injuries must be reported. Uh, if a faculty member or technologist uh, is concerned about your behavior, you can be requested to leave. All safety data sheets must be available. Make sure we miss training. Any chemical spill must be cleaned up immediately. Uh, all PPE must be uh, used. So we're talking mainly what you'll be using for this course. You'll be in the 1035 lab. You'll have to have your shoes and glasses. So this is where we're talking here, trades, construction, engineering labs. CSA approved clear safety glasses with side shields must be worn. CSA approved safety footwear must be worn. No gloves to be worn on moving machinery. Length of hair, which could be a safety hazard. As per the opinion of the instructor, must be covered with the appropriate hair net or hat in all shops or labs. They will let you know how to control your, your hair. That is not an issue for me, but it might be an issue for you. And we have some stuff here about the anesthetician labs and the hairstyling labs doesn't apply to us. Culinary doesn't apply to us. Horticulture, welding doesn't apply to us. Chemical doesn't. Fashion design doesn't. Power line doesn't. Uh, dress code for shopping labs. No sleeveless shirts, bare midriffs, or shorts permitted in the shop. Make sure no shorts. So you always have to have long pants on. Uh, no shirts with slogans. No neckties or neck gear. So this includes no lanyards with keys. I always wear a lanyard with keys when I'm on campus. I will lock myself out of my office if I ever take it off. Uh, if I go in this lab, I need to remove that and put it in my pocket. You cannot have anything around your neck. Uh, long shirt sleeves must be rolled up above the elbow. Typically, short sleeve shirts are perfectly fine. Any long sleeve shirts, you need to be in control of your sleeves. No jewelry or clothing, so no watches, no rings. Uh, no jogging or sweatpants are permitted in any of the labs. Uh, reason for that is that they will melt if they get a, a, a flame on them. No personal electronics, no earphones or earbuds, and you're not allowed to listen to music. You need to be able to hear what's going on around you. 
or listen to our instructions. Uh, students must not use any equipment, including any machinery, without first the training of instruction and training on the equipment. Uh, sign off of these rules and of these uh, lab safety rules, which you're going to be doing in a second. Uh, you have to have your proper PPE, you must be have permission from the instructor, and all the proper guards must be in place on that equipment. You have to inspect equipment before you use it, make sure it's in good working order. Do not use anything in a dangerous manager. Manage, uh, no horseplay. I love that word, horseplay. Uh, report any spills, maintain a high level of housekeeping, so don't be a slob when you're using things. Uh, follow approved lockout tagout procedures. Don't clean things off with compressed air. No cigarette lighters around where hot work is being performed. You're not allowed in any shop area without instructor or technologist present. Uh, don't handle anything in an unsafe manner. Uh, act like a professional. No food or beverages. That's another big one there. Backpacks, jackets, not permitted in the shop unless in designated area. So when you go in, you'll have a backpack or a jacket. There is an area where you can place all those things. So there's a there's like a, a coat hanger area. You can leave all your stuff there. Don't take it to the machines with you. No kids under the age of 16. And that is it. So what you are going to do, uh, if we were doing this in paper form, you would sign here. But what we are going to do is you are going to mark you're basically going to say mark reviewed right here. Now once you mark that reviewed, this here is going to come up. 2020 shop safety rules test. You'll click on this. This is going to bring up a test for you. You're going to hit begin. I've already done this test once. We're just going to start a new one. And then you're going to have this test come up. The test only has one question on it. And uh, it says, I, having read this St. Clair College Shop Safety Rules, abide by the said terms, understand their meaning and consequences of contravening any of the set standards. And it is a true and false question. I'm going to let you figure out what the correct answer should be. You're going to answer that, hit save and submit. Do that, then hit OK, and yes, I passed the test. I got 10 out of 10 on it. And once you do that, under Achievements, I should now also see I have a certificate here for shop safety. If you really wanted to, you could actually print this certificate out. It looks like this. Well done. Print that out if you want. Uh, I will also mention on here why we are here. You should also be doing the academic honesty training. So this one here, this is the same thing. You want to do these modules, click review, do the test, get your certificate for that, complete these two tests. Okay, the academic honesty, there is a lot of content here, but you should review it, please. Uh, there is a lot of stuff here. Please review all this. This is all about academic honesty. We want people to really understand what we mean by academic honesty. What is plagiarism? What are the rules for that? What is allowed and what is not allowed uh, as far as writing things, how to use cite things properly, uh, and how should you be doing all these things while you're here at St. Clair. Okay, so we want you to get through all this. Uh, this is the same thing once you review all this material do this test get your certificate as well this all gets tracked in the grade book here so professors can check to see if you've completed this if you have completed it you will be allowed to go to the lab okay so that is it for uh, the shop rule sign off and academic honesty